Today I'm going to show you four fun two ball ball screen drills as a ball handler to get you buckets. Okay, let's get right into how to make this two ball drill action going over ball screen options as a ball handler fun and creative. Number one, in this drill, you don't want to be sloppy. Okay, so use your creativity and imagination. Let me go over the chair situations, right? This chair is the same player. As they set a screen, they also are rolling. Now, this is their roll position, okay? So me being using my creativity and imagination by myself, I want to have two basketballs, and here's why. I might want to come off of a screen, learn how to come tight, shoulder to shoulder with my teammate, I come off of it, I might hit my teammate as they roll with my right hand, stop, stab my feet, lift up, and shoot. Okay, so I want to also understand my scoring options as I come off. Many times in drills, and you may be able to, you know, affirm this players, a lot of times in drills you run it, you come off of a screen, you got one ball, you make the pass, and you just stop you go to the second line and you wonder why in the game you're conditioned that way to do the same thing. In the game, here we go, you make the pass, you stop. All of a sudden that player tries to pass the ball back to you, you're not ready to make a play. These two basketballs keep you alert. They keep you alert. And they also work on this as well, an offhand attack situation. You wanna always keep an active offhand to keep a reaching defender away. Also becoming ambidextrous as you look to make moves, okay? So I wanna give you the reason why we're using two basketballs and my creative and imagination by myself, working on this as if I'm a ball handler coming off a ball screen, and I wanna give you scoring options as well. Okay, let's go right into the action. So, on a pick and roll situation, ball screen situation as a ball handler, you wanna have what we call S3 mentality. The first S is the start. You wanna make sure you get your body and your defender to the level of the screener. I wanna get at least here. Almost even with the chair, because you gotta imagine my defender is now below that screen, but I'm looking to run them into it. They're either below it or right at it, okay? That's the first S, the start. I wanna get my defender below the screen or at the level of the screen, right? The setup. Now we gotta talk about the screening angle. The screening angle right now we're gonna take advantage of is a side ball screen, right? The side ball screen, where this, this, this chair is static, not moving, but imagine if this chair was coming at me, right? But also they can't move on that screen, right? So first start, then set up. On the setup, when they actually get their feet set, they go quick, I go down slow. When they stop, I come off quick, okay? Right, start, set up, and then the scoring option. S3 mentality, start, set up, score. Now on the scoring option, as a ball handler, let's keep it simple. Out of all ways you come off a ball screen, you can either reject or accept the screen. On a rejection, that I'm gonna work first. On a rejection, I may go with a simple crossover. I'm pretending to come off of it, I change it, I tuck ball in my hand, ball in my left hand, now I'm attacking. Okay, I can use that chair as a defender as well. I can come over here and do a Euro step. One, two Euro, I can go finish it at the hoop. I can stop and pop a jump shot. Okay, why I got two balls, man? Because when I reject that screen, what I'm gonna do is after I come over here and score, with this second ball, I'm gonna pop out, spin it, and knock down a jump shot. Okay, I can reject, I can accept. Okay, so now let's go over the rejection options right now. Walk you through this real quick. I got my defender to the level of the screen. As they look to run me into it, I change directions. I attack the basket, go finish it. I spin the ball out to the corner, knock down a shot. Let's go, we're gonna go for two. All right? Reject, uh, change, uh, finish. Uh, spin out, catch, knock down shot. That's one, okay? Reject, uh, get to the other side of the rim. Spin out, open up, stab, feet lift, knock down shot. That's my rejection. Okay, now here's my accept. On my accept, 
Now you gotta imagine the fender is gonna take away my rejection now. And they're making me use the screen. That's what I'm calling accept. Now as I accept the screen, I wanna make sure I come off my teammate shoulder to shoulder, right? And when they roll, I wanna take off because they gotta beat my coverage. The person guarding me, if they went under it, my teammates rolling, they're gonna get caught twice. We call that a double wide screen. They got hit one time on the ball screen, meaning my coverage, my defender, they went under. My teammate has the right to open up, to post up as they roll. Here they go, they got hit twice, legally. Because now this big's hands are up, rolling, and now that's his position down there, her position. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you this. As I come off, shoulder to shoulder, I'm gonna pause it, come off of it, pass it, and now it's up to me for my scoring option. I can shoot it, I can attack the basket, right? But I'm making a pass on time on target with my right hand to my rolling teammate, and I'm gonna stop and score. Here we go, got two. Set up, can't reject it, pause it, come off, shot, pass, knockdown. Yes, good action. Ball came right back to me, love that, right? Working on my creativity and imagination. Got him down, come off, pause it, pass it, shot. Yeah, giving you options on how to accept the screen and your first level of attack on acceptance is beat your coverage. If they go under, you wanna pause it, like a, like a stop, start, stop, hesitation move, okay? And then you wanna turn that corner, make a pass to your teammate on a roller, and then stop and pop your shot. A little stab your feet, two feet, lift up, straight, straight up and down, and knock that shot down. Let's go. We're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and we need your help. We roll out high-quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe. Now, let's go into the last set of series, okay? We talked about rejecting the screen, accepting the screen. Now let's talk about beating the help coverage by splitting. So now, what's gonna happen is this. The hedge defender now is gonna come high. When they come high because of what you've been doing as a ball handler, you're gonna read that and now you're gonna split the gap. Right, you wanna split the gap. Okay, now, situation. Your roller on a split is not gonna roll now. What he's gonna do, he's gonna pop out. She's gonna pop out. So what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna set up this chair as the popper now. This is the popping teammate ready to knock down an open shot, okay? So, as I come off, the big steps up, I'm gonna split it, I can dish it, I can shoot it, I can keep my attack to the basket and go. Let's do it, here we go. Come off, split it, pass it, Attack it, lay up, I gotta go. Come off, split it, pass it, lay up. Got to the basket. Come off, split it, dish it, lay up. Right, having a good feel for it. Last option right here, okay? Now, the hedger help side, they stepped up, you split that gap. Now what's gonna happen is, they're gonna drop their coverage because you've been doing such a great job of attacking this ball screen. When they drop their coverage, okay, when they drop their coverage, I'm not gonna use this chair as a drop coverage defender, okay? They're gonna drop their coverage, right? Because they're gonna give their teammate an opportunity to really fight over the top. And that drop is gonna be real tight or loose. When they drop, this is the defender now. Here's my teammate. When they drop their coverage, we're now gonna work on the snake dribble series. A snake dribble series we call an S-curve as well. We're gonna come off, defender's fighting over the top, we're gonna to S-curve it. We're gonna dribble right back into that screen. And now we may have a short corner opportunity for a shot 
And because I got two basketballs, you gotta imagine now, that roller, again, this roller, because it dropped coverage, after they set the screen, they're gonna open up to keep that defender honest. So my pass is gonna be this way, and I'm attacking to the basket. Let's do it. Drop coverage, snake series. Ah, come off of it, snake it, pass it, shot. Knockdown shot, good. I'm gonna get this chair a little lower. Now they might be more in the middle. Get my screen a little bit over. Come off of it again, score up, drop coverage, dump it off, stop, shot. Last one coming up. Now I'm gonna do what I call, I'm gonna fake the snake. As I set this up, I'm gonna fake my snake dribble. I'm gonna come off of it. I'll pretend like I'm going, but I'm gonna fake it. I'm gonna drop it off now that way, lift up score that way. Here I go. Let's go, fake the snake. Here I go, come off of it. Take the snake, pass it, lift up shot. And there you have it, man. That's some good detail, right? Good detail, good creativity, imagination. You can be by yourself, work on two basketballs, have two chairs, two cones, and go create that situation so you can become a bucket getter. I wanna make sure we're taking your game to the next level. So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the must know basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium player, check out our training vault bundle that can be found at the same link. It includes everything you need to play with confidence and poise. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.